I'm not gonna lie, man. Today's crazy. Like, all this stuff is just repeatedly coming out. So, for today's video and this video, nonetheless, I've dropped like five or six, whatever it is today. Uh, we're gonna talk about the new spoilers again. Because I made a joke on Twitter, you know, this is my Twitter, if you guys don't follow me, this isn't my Twitter, this is Herm's Twitter, shout out to Herm's. But anyways, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, you don't see all this stuff. But I made a joke, I was like, man, the people are officially affiliated with Dragon Ball are like, man, let's just, let's just have a fun day today. Let's just basically drop everything that we have. Let's shit our freaking, bust our freaking loads on everything today as far as all of our Dragon Ball related stuff Dokkan um you know uh Xenoverse 2 Super I didn't see anything about fusions or heroes thank god um that probably was stuff too you know pertaining to that stuff but we're gonna talk about who hired hit so I'm gonna scroll up if you don't want the spoiler goodbye anyways Herms, once again, I, I'm biting the inside of my cheek a lot because my wisdom teeth are doing it like it's weird, like the freaking, I'm not going to talk about that here, but it's, forgive me nonetheless if I uh, if I don't sound too good here. Anyways, all right, so Herms has this here, Hit goes all out to battle Goku again. Goku dies after his heart takes a direct strike from the assassin Hit's invisible shockwave. Sounds like that, uh, that time skip move that he uses in Xenoverse 2, but it'll probably be a little different. I'm interested to see what it is. You know, shockwave may be a clearer type of thing. It doesn't really necessarily have to be something that's really legibly visible, so it just depends. But he manages to return to life after receiving a shock from a key blast he fired immediately before dying. So Goku has the ability to shoot a key blast that can bring him back to life. That sounds really freakish. We're going to need more information on that because that's too much. Uh, now Goku's counterattack begins. Who hired Hit? Who hired Hit? Hit. <laughs> uh, Vados was the one who hired Hit to kill Goku, but it seems she was merely acting as a representative for Hit's true client. Who could that be? Goku has seen through Hit's techniques. What strategy will he use to counter it? And this is the image associated with it. All this leak stuff. So, you know, just crazy time in Japan, man. They love this spoiler stuff. They really do. They love spoiling their own stuff. You know, out in the States and, you know, in the U.S. and stuff like that. North America, America just in general. We don't really too much care for it. But there are people that do care for it. But just in Japan, they live for that stuff. They thrive for it. Basically, um, to kind of break this down... Officially, Vados is the one that hired Hit, right? But I don't want to jump the gun and say that she's the main antagonist because that's not really what this implies, right? It says that she is acting as a representative for Hit's true client. The only person I can really, really see doing that, or her doing that for, excuse me, would be Shampa, right? Because she's his angel, she's his attendant. So that would make a lot of sense, but then it calls into question what Shampa's motivation. I mean, this isn't going to be a very long arc, so it has to be something really short and self-contained as far as like the motivations for whoever her representative is, like the one to kill Goku. So it has to be really short and self-contained. So I want to kind of pass it along to you. I just wanted to basically make a video on this information. So once again, follow Herms. Link is in the description. I got a massive headache, man. I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for tuning in today's video. Peace.